Hi, today I'm going to show you how I make my stickers. So, the first thing that I always do is sketch my design. Then I will take a photo of it and then transfer it in the computer or the laptop. And then I will go ahead and open it in Paint Tool Size. So, Paint Tool Size is the application that I'm missing. What's great about this is that it's very lightweight, like you can just zoom in and out without a problem. You can also rotate it just easily. And the best thing about Paint Sai is that you can draw anything by just using a mouse. So we will now start. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is open the the design on your computer and then we will choose which stick which design we are going to use so I'm going to draw this one so we're going to open file new and then let's type 2 by 2 inches with a 300 resolution and then okay so we're going to go back to our photo and select the photo that you want and then going to paste it in your new file and then all we have to do is rotate and resize it to the size that we want in this side you can find the layer panel and we will make a new layer so there are two types of layers there is a new layer and the new line work layer. So we're going to choose the new line work layer. And then choose curve. And then you can choose the sizes of the pen that you want. So I'll choose 30. And then we can choose the color that we want. So I already have my own color palette. So I will just choose that. But you can always choose whatever you like. To start our drawing, we will trace our design. Click and then click again. Click again. So, we're just going to continue doing that. So, what's great about this is while you're tracing, you can always zoom in and zoom out so that you can better you can have a better look at it and then once you're done you can always double click to stop um, the line and then let's start again 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 once you're done just double click and then click again and then double click again all we have to do now is fill this up so we can use this pen so once you learn to use paint Osai, you will learn that there are so many ways that you can fill this up easily but i'll just show this to you so that we don't have to go into so much process so once we are done we are now going to move on and make the eyes and the mouth so all we have to do is change this opacity of this layer so that we can see our drawings our sketch before so you can find the opacity here or opacity and then just drag it to a much more lower number and then you can see your sketch so before we draw make another layer to draw the eyes and the mouth and then choose again the color that you want then choose a pen for there and just find the right size that you want and then trace the eyes and the mouth and then there you go so let's go back to the to the head of the bunny so let's click this layer where there there is the shape of the bunny and then let's change back this the opacity to a hundred percent 
the reason why we draw our eyes and mouth in a different layer so that um, in case you didn't like the position of these eyes and the nose, we can always just choose the layer where eyes and mouth are and you can just change the location of it without interrupting the other drawings. So we'll go ahead and make the other details. So once we are done with our design, we can now merge all the layers. So as you can see, if we do not merge it, we can still like move the drawings individually. But if we are already okay with it, we can already go and merge all the layers so that we can move it as one. Um, so now that we're done, we're going to remove the sketch so all you have to do is just choose the layer where the sketch are, where the sketch is and then just click this delete layer. And then for the other layer, we'll go ahead and make our background. So I'll just make a plain background. So I'll just choose a bucket and then another color over here and just click. And now we have a background. So we'll rename this background and then we will rename our design into a bunny so we have a separate layer for the design and a separate layer for our background so we will now go ahead and save this as a photoshop file or as psd so we will open our photoshop so now that we open this in photoshop you can see that the layer is now right over here or it depends on the photoshop you are using so mine i can find it here on my right side we're going to duplicate our bunny layer two times so let's go ahead and just click this layer and then right click and then duplicate layer and we're going to name that as cut c-u-t and then we we'll go ahead and duplicate it again and this time we're going to rename this as bleed there you go so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to edit this bleed layer so for this bleed layer all we have to do is right click then Choose blending options and then choose stroke and then we can change the size to 15 and then choose the color black and then we will now choose color overlay and then choose a color black again okay then okay again so that will be our bleed layer so we will go ahead and rasterize this layer. So right click, then rasterize layer style. So that is our, so this is our bleed layer. Next, we're just going to hide um, this bleed layer. So there is an eye over here. You can just click that so that the layer will be hidden. So for our next layer, we will edit our cut layer. We're going to right click again and then choose blending options and then use and then choose color overlay and then change the color again to black. And we're going to rasterize it again. So right click and then rasterize layer style. So that will be our cut layer. So we're going to hide this again and the remaining layer will be the bunny and the background. So we will not do anything about the bunny layer. Next step that we're going to do is um, use the bleed layer and um, make it appear again. So just this box right here so that it will appear again. And then 
first um, quick selection tool on this panel and then I prefer to use a bigger brush like this one so that I can select everything at once so just click and then drag and then release it um, as you can see there will be some kind of a highlight we're in it shows you that it is already selected we'll go ahead and click our background and then press ctrl x so if you can see if we hid if we hide the bleed layer as you can see we cut the background with the shape of that bleed layer this is important to do especially if you're going to make a kiss cut um style of sticker so that if the machine cut it a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right it will still capture um the color of of our bunny of our design so to further to show it to you make a new layer so over here over here we can choose um new layer and then Make sure that that new layer will be at the very bottom. And once we, are, we did that, we can now go ahead and color this, this with the same color as our design. So if your design is very complicated, you can go ahead and save this and then open it in Paint to Sai. And you can and you can color it there. But since this is just one color. Um, I'm talking about the color that is um, beside the cut. I don't know if you understand it, but I hope that makes sense. So we'll go ahead and color it. We'll choose the brush and then color pick the color that we wanted. And then let's paint it. Let's color it. And now we are almost there. So we're just going to merge our layers except for the cut layer and the bleed layer. So we're just going to choose these three and then right click and then merge layers. And then we'll go ahead and choose the bleed layer and then delete it. Delete it. So the remaining layer we have is the bunny and the cut. So this cut, machine will follow this shape to cut your sticker. So as you can see, so the extended outline is very important. Since the cutting machine is not always precise, so sometimes they would like um, cut a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. So your stickers will look like this. As you can see, um, it captures the background color. So it doesn't look good. So it's very important to have an, oh, an extension outline. I, is that how you're supposed to call it? I don't know. So once we have that, we can now go ahead and just type in our branding. So just choose the text tool and just type your brand. Then change it to a much more visible color. And then there is another new layer for our text so we're just going to merge it with our design so just choose both layer and then merge layer and then that's it you can now send this to your manufacturer so before you send this to your manufacturer you have to change the color um, to cmyk so if you do not know that i'll show you so on the top part of the photoshop you can find you can find the image and then just click it and choose mode then go to cmyk color so and then just choose don't merge 
just choose OK. And then you can now save this again. And now you can now send it to your manufacturer. So I hope you enjoy making that sticker. I hope that you explore Pinkle Sai because it's a lifesaver for me. For someone who doesn't have like an iPad. I do have a pen mouse but I don't know. I'm not. It's not user friendly for me. I find I'm having a hard time using it. So all of my stickers are made in Paintle Sai and I only use a mouse. So I hope you enjoy making the stickers. So last week I asked on Instagram if they have any question regarding um how I make my stickers. So I'll be answering those questions here while I am making the Sangyup Sal stickers. And and first by the way, um my voice sounded like this because I have a cough and a cold, so please bear with me. Anyway, the first question is from Journaling Jade. What's the most challenging part in running a sticker business? So the most challenging part for me is money. I know it sounded cliche, but it really is. I have a day job. I have a salary, but it's not enough to fund my shop fully. I'm just starting out and I barely made income from this. So I am a solo parent and I'm running this small business alone. So my budget is really low. I always wanted to produce a bulk of stickers so that I can save money from shipping fees. But for now, I am stuck with producing 10 to 20 sticker sheets. Hopefully, someday the shop will grow and as well as the funds. <laughs> um, next question is from you. Ari, so how you get ideas? Um, I usually just draw the things that I love or the things that I always see and observe. Um, right now, I love foods, so I usually draw foods. I also get ideas from Pinterest or from my or from my experiences. So, for example, food. I wanted to journal, but the stickers that is available in the market are always Western foods. So I try to draw foods that has a similarity to Filipino foods and I try to make it cuter just because. I don't know how I get ideas. I, it just pops in my head because I'm usually at my head and I'm usually daydreaming. And so I don't know what's going on with my mind, but yeah, it just happened. So next question will be from Neko2882. Will you join the Sticker Expo? Um, I will be joining StickerCon 2023 that will be held in White Space, Manila on April 29 to 30. But I don't know yet if I'm day one or day two. If you happen to attend, please drop by on my booth and say hi, I guess. And bye. <laughs> Anyway, see you there if you happen to um, join the event. Um, next question would be from Caitlin the Short. I think the name was cut off. So, how did you make your business grow and how did you start it? Am I growing? Um, well, I'm still pretty much a small business, but I'm happy with the progress. I think social. I think social media is the key. I try to be as consistent as I can in uploading videos, photos, and updates. I also tried it in different social media apps like TikToks and Instagram. And because of that, I think, you know, people found my shop and eventually stayed. And I'm so grateful. So thank you so much. So how did I start it? Um, I, I started way, way back in 2019. I have opened sticker shops before and it didn't work out. I think I opened uh, three shops and all of those failed but I didn't want to give up because this is something that I really really wanted so I started again but this time I approach it slowly um, I release stickers monthly and 
it must have a theme so i started with almusel stickers and now the shop is already eight months old next would be from folio studio Fol Fol i'm i'm butchering your name <laughs> Anyway, um, hello, I love artist blogs. Always curious about what paper, software, and adding leads to art do. Um, if you are talking about the paper that I'm using at my sketches, it's just an paper paper. But if you are asking about the sticker paper, it's vinyl. But I don't know what brand it is. Because I just sent my design to the manufacturer and they will be the one to print and cut it for me. Um, what software I'm using? Um, I'm using Paintosai. You can purchase it online. Um, I know some of you asked me if there is a free software to use. But if you're going to open a shop, I recommend you to invest in this kind of softwares because it will go a long way. And, and you can create um, your art in good quality anyway so i hope you invest um another question would be adding what does adding bleed arts do so i already showed it in the video before this question and answer portion so okay so next um from bunny winkle hi not a question but i always watch your videos good luck on your creative journey Oh, thank you so much. Um, I swear whenever I create something and it only has few views and likes, these kind of comments boost my confidence. So thank you so much. So the last question will be from Alberry. Where did you buy the washi tape? Um, I bought it online. Um, I think you are asking about the washi tapes, the landscape washi tapes. Um, I bought it online on Shopee at moham.ph so that's it for this video um thank you so much if you are still here and listening to my voice um i have a cough and a cold so thank you so much uh, i hope this video will help you in creating your stickers too and in building your shop bye bye